let's just start with saying that I'm a big fanboy of this series. Mystery Case File number 12, The Key to Ravenhurst. Wow, it's time we get to play another one. You know what's special about this one? Two things are special about this one. One, this was actually made by Epix Entertainment, their first attempt at a Mystery Case Files game, and I'm super excited to see how well that turned out. And two, I actually got to play the beta of this with the producer and designer on the team there a few months ago. That was super cool. We got to play that live. We had a lot of fun. So I am super pumped. I really have nothing more to say other than let's get into this game. I want to play. Hit that play button. Additional information has been provided. <laughs> ah, you, you almost gave me a heart attack. Oh, how do I know you're the detective sent by the Queen? I just can't take your word for it. You can't take my word for it? What? Maybe I have a mystery case file detective badge that I can perhaps show you. Would we like some interactive help? I think we're going to go ahead and snag some special features. We need to find your badge and identify yourself. Look at this. This looks beautiful. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, you just made my day. Thank you for putting in the working horn. All we need is a bobblehead. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. I think we might actually have a bobblehead. I see Madame Fate over there. Master Detective Your Gibbs. Screenshot. Disturbing news has reached me regarding the Ravenhurst Manor. Someone has acquired the land as rebuilding its edifice. After the last Ravenhurst incident, we placed the estate under surveillance. Agent Barker, one of my best agents, has been sent to blend in with the local populace and operate undercover. It is of paramount importance that you meet him. He will provide you with the latest field intelligence. Their innate letter R, which is enclosed, was delivered to my residence. I have no doubt you will find the meaning behind it. Her Majesty the Queen? Wow! Super important mission. Knowing the Ravenhurst history, this is gonna be a long night. Far from boring, though. Look at you. <gasps> Her life is hanging by a cord. Oh, the bobblehead is real. <laughs> Was that clumsiness or a warning from a damn fate? She looks like she could be wearing. Uh, well, actually, that's the front of her. Sorry, I thought I was thinking that was her back, because then she'd be wearing, like, handcuffs or something, but... Anyways, we've got the bobblehead, but it's not exactly all there, is it? Mmm, coffee. This is, of course, also a callback to the previous Mystery Case files. This little creature here was one of the puzzles. Let's see what else we got going on here. <laughs> Wipers. Oh, we could just hang out in this car for 20 minutes. How about that? I think that's a great idea. Who says ashtrays are useless for us non-smokers? I keep all sorts of trinkets here. Got my Mr. Case file pocket knife. Father was quite a dandy. So he always kept his mustache comb nearby. Love that mustache comb. Hello? Oh, it looks like I can put a cassette in there. The radio is out of commission. I won't be getting back up tonight. Honk honk! <laughs> yep, the little things. All the little things. Sometimes all you can do is leave it up to fate. Ooh, that's kind of telling. A little foreshadowy too. Honk honk! Okay, so what else can we do in here? Can we just leave? Let's see. <laughs> There's something going on there. 
I've got myself the letter R and a pocket knife. Probably should cut this wire off here. You see, this is going to help us open up here. A nice cup of tea would be nice. Being on the road doesn't mean I can't enjoy my tea in style. Look at the rotten apple over there and the cobwebs. Tricked by Dalmar's cunning scheme, I had to witness the replica of Charles' twisted life. Lucy runs deep in his family. All right, folks, let's talk about this for a second. I have recorded Mr. K's File 6, which was Dire Grove, which is my first Hopa experience that truly got me hooked, okay? Dire Grove is the game that got me hooked on Hopas. Okay, now, I've recorded 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and of course this is 12. If you want to check out any of the previous games, you'll find playlists down in the video description. Okay, trust me, you're going to want to check them out. Let's see here. So this is actually kind of neat. We've actually going through the previous three games. So another thing to keep in mind is the Mystery Case Files, they kind of have sub-series within that series. So this is actually the fourth Raven first game. In the manners underground, Charles sought immortality in the secrets of the black arts. Instead, he found death in flames. Okay, so I know it's been a while. I don't remember this being in the beta. This is another reason why I like to play the full game right from the very beginning so I can experience the final version of the game. And this actually does ring bells. I remember definitely this scene here. The Ravenhurst Nightmares first came to light with Emma's case. What terrible things were done to her in the name of love. I think we're going back in time. This case was a mystery for so long that it became just a myth. But where is the rest of the file? Gonna get my wallet. It's gonna have my badge in here for sure. There you are, hiding in my wallet. <gasps> Do you see what I see? Watchful eyes follow you in every location around Ravenhurst. Can you find them all? It's a Craven! A Craven collectible. Awesome. Okay, we should be able to get out of here now, no? Nail clippers. Honk honk! I like the eight ball on the keys too. <laughs> we can start the car, or we can attempt to start the car. Of course, it's raining. How appropriate for the investigation of the Ravenhurst estate. The rain looks lovely. Uh, I also like the lightning as well. Let's go ahead and give him our badge. It's nice to see a friendly face. My cover's blown, so I have to keep a low profile. This mission has nearly got the best of me. The Queen's letter coincided with the arrival of this box. I haven't determined its purpose. Here, I hope you have better luck than I have. I also need to show you something. It's too hard to explain. I'd rather you saw it with your own eyes. Follow me. Absolutely. If eeriness was the desired effect, this is a point well made. So looks like we're gonna have to unlock this somehow. Ooh, that. Why does she have ketchup in her eyes? Old birds like me are not easily scared. Nice effort, though. Master Detective, it's fitting that I be the one to welcome you back to Ravenhurst. I hoped that fate would bring you here to bear witness. The invention you hold is of my own design. It will aid you in your journey, if you are wise enough to uncover its secrets. Thus, Agent Barker has fulfilled his purpose. His ludicrous vigil over my estate can finally come to an end. 
I hope you said your farewells. Wait, why do I need to say farewell? A threat! Has Alistair found a way to meddle in earthly affairs beyond the grave? <whistles> Alistair is beyond the grave. So what exactly is this? Whoa. What the heck is going on here? It's a puzzle within a puzzle! Undoubtedly the mark of the raven nurse is all over this box. A riddle within a puzzle. Am I getting overly suspicious seeing enigmas everywhere? Uh, wack -a trolls have returned, but not all of them it seems. The time has come for the trolls to return. Pattern of colors you'll have to discern. When the chosen are back in their holes, we'll reveal a secret of the House of Lost Souls. Excellent. Agent Barker! Where are you going, mister? Come back, come back. You need to follow the agent to the cottage. Find clues and items to help you uncover the contents of the enigma. Mosquito, mosquito. All right, cool, cool. I like it. Whack a troll. We'll get into that soon enough. Right into the glitter. Didn't even waste any time. Love it, love it. Oh, I think we see our Craven buddy over there. <laughs> Two out of thirty-four cravens. Excellent, excellent. So, what I do recall when I was playing the beta uh, with the folks there from Epix Entertainment was they've added a lot of like extra touches that aren't necessarily part of the story or part of the game, but uh, it definitely allows you to kind of explore and click on things that you may not normally click on, just to see what they've actually uh, put into the game. Can't wait to try that out. The mailbox was vandalized. Maybe that deflated life vest can help me. The rain does look fabulous. This game does look incredible. So, ugh, look at the slug on here. The troll must have done something nasty to get a nail in his forehead. So we got some glitter. Looks like we're needing three trolls, okay. Right into it, folks. Right into it. So what do we have here? Look at all those worms. Morphing objects. Oh, they even have the typewriter going on here. Oh, typewriter. That is a nice call out to the Mr. Keys files. Thank you. Love it. Oh, Mr. Crab over there. We're gonna have to draw out SOS. Oh, we actually have to do this. Cool. Come on. <laughs> Look at the etching we're doing here. Hop over there. Are you sure this is how you spell SOS? Yeah, a puzzle within a puzzle. So we have a lure. Right there. Butterfly. A flare gun. A jaw. A hook and a paper ship. That's the hook. Oh, we still need a raven, too. I think they mean craven. They forgot the sea there. <laughs> Something's going on over there. I need some chalk. Love the music, too. Just setting the atmosphere nicely. I like how the foreground is out of focus, but the background is in focus. It's just such a... Nice touch to it, and you can see the water over there, and the rain has fallen. Hopefully we're wearing a raincoat. And now we just need a paper ship. 
We got it. A flare gun. Sounds good to me. Let's go to the lighthouse yard. Uh-oh, doggies. Uh-oh. They stuck up on me. Easy now, boys. Whoa, these are well-trained guard dogs. Someone's keen on keeping people away. Uh-oh. We're gonna need a flare, I think. Woof, 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 woof. Excellent. Witness the history of the obsession. The Ravenhurst Museum opening soon. I hoped this museum was a poor, tasteless joke. This pamphlet proves me wrong. Oh, look at the snail. It's so loud with all the thunder and lightning. There's more steam in my bathroom after a shower than in this foghorn. So we got more posters about the museum. Okay, let's go back then. Fishing line, let's go to the road. That would be a lot of birds! We need to find a way to get past all those cravens! <laughs> for those of you that are watching for the very first time and have no idea why I call those birds cravens, you need to ask yourself, why would that happen? Why would an educated man call that animal a craven? Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> Alright, folks, so we're uh, gonna maybe put that over there. And then we'll put triangle here. Put that over there. And then we'll put this here. And then we'll put that over there. We fixed it. Whoa, toys in my time were a source of joy, not creepiness. Weird. Uh, it seems that the limbs are linked to the head. Take all those limbs off. Oh, I just heard some creepy girls. Two little girls played down by the stream. Neither could know what their future would mean. Playing with swings and a doll with an odd head. Where birds come to bathe, soon they'll be dead. Dun dun dun. Look at all of these birds. A flock of cravens has darkened my path. Luckily I have a bright idea on how to scare them away. Wink, wink. A fishing bag. The builders of this fence had privacy rather than protection in mind. There is only one way to the manor. I'll have to force my way through. <gasps> Could it be a crowbar? Maybe. We'll see. Let's go ahead and grab that out of there. What exactly is that? A metal brush? I know an old trick for removing the age-worn bars. First, I'll need... A length of rope. Come here, me. Come here, me. Come here to me. So let's see what we got here. Let's go ahead and open that up. The fishing rod. To go with our fishing pole. And then we just need a lure. We need to attach a hook. Sounds like a good idea. Might have one over here in the mailbox. Dear cousin, strange things are happening here at the Ravenhurst estate. Shortly after finishing the construction, all of the workers vanished. I hope they got paid and went on their way, but my gut tells me something terrible has happened. My job with the garden is almost done. As soon as I plant the last rose bushes, I'll collect my money and head home. The sooner, the better. This place gives me the creeps. See you soon, Frank. The letter was never delivered. I doubt the royal mail is to blame. Excellent. So we got ourselves some flares. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do something right now that is something I missed. 
when I play the beta. So let's see what happens here. I loaded a flare gun. <laughs> the dogs appear too well trained to be scared by a bright light. There is a prime example of what I was talking about earlier. They have added these little nuances here that um, it's more than just like a text box at the top. They actually animated that little sequence there. Holy cow, this is going to be one heck of a journey. I'm your Gibbs, and I'll see you in the next episode.